All right, so I want to share like one company that I think will work good for like new drivers. If you're looking for a starter company, I suggest this company simply because I worked there in 2018 for like most of the year. Now I'm not getting paid for this, um, like any referral fees or anything like that, because I, you know, I work local. I don't local. I don't work for them anymore. Um, but I'll tell you what my experience was that does that don't mean that you know you will have the same experience but jumping right in what I did was went to their website filled out an application for Southeast Regional Home Every Weekend they got other options on there like uh, you can stay out two weeks and then come home and then they got other options as well but I selected Home Every Weekend because that's what I wanted um, was I home every weekend? Yes. Now, I talked to other drivers on the yard. They were getting home on the weekends as well. So, they are good about bringing you in. I will suggest this if you are new. You don't have to. It's just a suggestion. If this is your first time out here, you're not sure if you're going to like it or not, you probably want to select the same thing, home every weekend. Because here's the thing. Uh, if you want to keep running, you like it, and you want to keep running and make more money, all you got to do is tell your dispatcher, I want to keep running over the weekend, and they're going to let you do that. But if you fill out an application and you're supposed to be out there every two weeks, and you want to come home, you like you done changed your mind, you want to come home every weekend, or you don't like it as much as you thought, but you can deal with it, uh, but you don't want to be able to road every two weeks, you know, for two weeks, well, now they're probably going to say you got to wait a certain time period before you can change your position. So if you just say you want to come home every weekend, it just gives you more options. I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, this is just a suggestion. So yeah, home time, you get that. Pay. Pay depends on your experience. Now for me, it wasn't that great. That's just my opinion. And now they also consider me a new driver because... I had been out of the truck for a long time. Uh, I had my license since 2006 and I drove for a while after that. But then I got out of the truck. And when I got ready to get back in it in 2018, a lot of other companies didn't want to take me on because I didn't have that recent experience. Snyder took me on. I appreciate them for that. And I got my experience back up with them. But, yeah, like, I, I'm going to tell you what I wish somebody would have told me, though, when I first got out here. Don't focus so much on the pay. I know you got bills and things like that, but before you even get out here, if you can minimize those bills, do that. But don't focus on the pay so much. You know, focus on getting your year experience in. And then after that year, you can, like, come home and, you know, be at home every night, do something local, or you can stay over the road. And as you over the road, your time go, your pay gonna increase anyway. At least it's supposed to. So, uh, yeah, the pay, it's a big deal, I know, but you know, you just starting this thing, you gotta, you gotta get them years in, or a year in, whatever. I don't, I don't know your situation, how you wanna do this. So yeah, uh, oh, pay, another thing with the pay. I was in, enrolled in this thing called uh, Pete Per Dem, and they automatically put you in it go and opt out of it so I'm not sure how your check would look if you wasn't in it I was in it and I was told that you know you get more money by being in it I'm not sure though you got to do your research and you know talk to other drivers or get a good understanding with them as far as that go so yeah I didn't opt out of that I was in it moving along uh, safety Snyder is big on safety baby <laughs> I remember a time I was trying to get out the gate and I was missing a mud flap. They would not let me out, which is a good thing because you don't want to get on the outside of that gate. Some, you know, go wrong or DOT see you and, for, and give you a ticket for something because one thing about it, you, you're going to pay for that ticket. Snyder don't pay for tickets. At least they didn't pay for my ticket. I um, pulled up to a weight scale one day and I was overweight. I think I had my... I had my tandems in the wrong place. Something told me that day to change that, you know, fix it. But I thought I was close to home, thought I was going to make it. 
I didn't make it. And I got that ticket. It was like a thousand dollars or something. And I could not leave the way station until I paid for it. Uh, so keep that in mind. Snyder don't pay for tickets. At least they didn't when I was there. Y'all can ask somebody, but no. Uh, so being, you know, picky with their equipment and stuff like that, it's good in some ways. Now you're gonna find out real quick that they got some stuff on that truck that is not safe but i don't know why they ain't fixed that yet because it could actually make you wreck i can't even explain um the thing that they got in the truck but you you'll hear about it and you're gonna see it if i can uh make time in another video i will explain that to you because it's important and i mean like that thing almost made me wreck instead of be making me safer it almost made me wreck but yeah, so they're big on safety. Um, they don't micromanage you. In a, at least I wasn't micromanaged. They didn't bother me unless I didn't send in my paperwork uh, for, you know, the, my MBOLs and stuff like that. And you need to send that paperwork in because that's how you get paid. Did I do it all the time, though? That's why I got a lot of messages saying to, you know, send it in, send it in, things like that. Um... There is a GPS navigation system, you know, installed in the uh, Qualcomm. You can use that, but mine went out two or three times, and I didn't know which way to go. I mean, of course, I could pull out the map, but I didn't want to do that. So, my suggestion to, to you is, if you got one, or if you can afford an extra one, get it. You know, that's if you don't want to have the hassle of using the map. You know, it's just better to, you know, have that backup. A truck GPS now so that was another thing that was you know a major plus because they give you that the uh, I use their directions all the time you know within that GPS system um, they are all automatic trucks they probably are a few sticks but I, I didn't I never seen or even met anybody who said they had one a stick but they're automatic trucks yeah, I mean, like, that's pretty much it. I'm not sure what else I could, like, share with you right now about Snyder. I think, like I said, it was a good company. For the most part, they kept their word, you know, with things. And uh, their orientation was three weeks. But if you had some experience, then you could do a refresher course. And I think that was, like, one week. But, Yeah. That's that. If you got any questions, put them in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.